loves, welcome back to my kitchen. Now we are into our Creole season here on the island and I thought I would share with you all a few of our Creole recipes and today we are starting with our titiwi acras so let's get cooking. Now titiwi is a very tiny fish. I had some in my freezer and I figured now is as good a time as any to show you all how I go ahead making my titiwi acras. It's a really tiny fish but don't be fooled, it is very, very fresh. <laughs> so I normally leave it to soak in a bit of water. Now cleaning is the most difficult process in making the acras. So what I do is I put in the water, wash it off a bit. Then I use a strainer. So once I do that, I'm going to clean it a little bit by little bit. So I do this. And I grab a plate. Put it into the plate. And then I go through it one by one. Separating it to ensure that there are no stones, no little debris, nothing at all in the TTV before I go ahead and make my batter. As you can see, there is normally stones, and this is what you want to avoid in your acrobata, the stones, these little pebbles right here, is what you want to avoid. In your batter as you can see this batch has quite a bit of stones quite a bit of little pebbles so by putting it onto the plate you're able to see clearly spread it out so that you see all the little pebbles in there it does not go into your batter Okay, so for today's batter, I am using approximately one cup of the cleaned fresh titiwis. I'm going to also be using flour that I am going to add gradually a half cup at a time. I'm going to use half of a small onion, one whole seasoning pepper, red so that it adds a little extra color to the mix. I'm going to be using some fresh parsley some fresh sive and of course I'm gonna be using some seasoning some salt some of this all-purpose seasoning some of this complete seasoning just because I like the dried oregano and stuff in there of course some ground pepper some curry and a few drops of hot pepper sauce now before I begin let's get this all chopped up when I do this part in adding the salt and seasonings I don't do any measurements so you can just go ahead and add it to taste now I'm adding this first because I kind of want to basically season the fish before I go into adding the flour and making the batter <laughs> Of course, we can't forget the juice of half of a lime. So we're going to mix that up. Ooh, looks so good. If you want guys at this point you can even make a stew with this 
like a nice curry with the titiwi I have found that it is really really good but I am doing acros today once that is all mixed in take a little test seems to be good but once we start adding in the flour we are going to have to add in more because we're going to add water to it as well for the batter so I have my water on hand and this is my cup of my half cup of flour I'm going to add all of it I think in the end I'm going to end up adding about a cup and a half of flour normally that's what I add but I like adding it gradually to ensure that it is mixed in and to ensure that I don't use too much because when I make my acros guys I love my titiwi in my acros so it's not just flour that I like I love mostly to taste my titi with my anchor so I don't usually want too much flour in there exact consistency you want like I said I kind of want my titiwi in every bite so I am really not adding too much flour to this batter this is exactly what I want I'm going to add just a tiny bit more water remember what I said about the tasting you want to just give it a tiny taste at this point to see if your salt is good and if needs be you're gonna add a little more of your seasonings and in this case I do need it <laughs> so guys at this point you just taste and season to your liking it's really about preference at this point some people prefer more pepper some people prefer more salt some people prefer more curry you know it's really just your preference at this point some people even use a little baking powder I prefer not use baking powder in mine because I just like that it's nice and crispy and flat so I try not to use a baking powder because it allows it to just rise just a little bit with the baking powder and I don't always want that so I basically just leave it this way again make sure Ooh, awesome it's good and this is it our titiwi acro butter is complete now guys you can see the little greens and the little reds in there it just makes for such a pretty butter now what I have found is when I make this butter and I leave it to rest for about half an hour about 15 minutes to half an hour before I fry it kind of gives the batter the time to just soak in everything and just have everything come together nicely before I go ahead and fry. So I normally cover it up with some plastic wrap. Cover it up and refrigerate it for at least 15 minutes to half an hour. Once the pan is a bit hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil. Then you want to set your bowl aside, lined with some tissue. So you're gonna place it in afterwards. You take your butter. Ooh. See how beautiful that butter looks, guys. Beautiful batter. Once the oil is hot, you want to take a spoon and just start scooping that batter into the oil. A spoonful at a time. Now 
while you just fry it till it's golden brown on both sides and then you remove from the oil and allow it to drain on the tissue for about five to ten minutes then you just put onto a plate and serve now guys titiri acre is one of the things that we make mostly during the independent season but I love saving the titiri so that I can get to make acres all year round because I absolutely love it. <laughs> now thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're able to give it a try. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye! Oh, darling, oh, darling.